this will be the final sun tunnel video I make and I'm only making this one because I've never actually been able to upload this using a screen recorder device it's always been recording phone to phone screen to screen where it loses some resolution these are images from the 19 second video that got my channel wiped out March 16th of 2019 I'll show you the email from YouTube for a full six seconds during that 19 second video, the sun developed these rings around it that were all moving inward in concentric circles. I uploaded it to YouTube, erased it from my gallery, and the next day they wiped out my channel, removed every video from my channel, and removed all the subscribers, and then gave me the channel back. At that point I didn't have the video anymore, all I had was these screenshots that I had taken of the video. <clears throat> You can see these two orbs, one above the cloud layer and one below the cloud layer. Also, these wavy bands of color, plasma bands I call them. So I'm just going to go through the screenshots that I have from that video. So the next time someone asks about the sun tunnel video that I've mentioned so many times, this will be the video I give them to use as a reference for what this sun tunnel is. I'm just going to go through these. So right here you can see a magnetic flux line breaking horizontally and one vertically to the left of the sun and right here you can faintly see another one of those orbs. Here's a close-up of the two that are most visible. And you can see them both equally, the one above the cloud layer and the one below the cloud layer. Also, there's this one, center screen, nestled in the clouds. I call it the Death Star because it looks kind of like the Death Star from Star Wars. It's there visible in all of the screenshots. Just a little bit closer cropped in of the orbs that appear to be transiting through the sun tunnel. The sun tunnel was only open for six seconds because in that 19 second video, it did not start or stop while the concentric rings were moving inward while the portal was opened. The video started few seconds into the video is when these rings appeared. They lasted for six seconds and then there was a few seconds of video at the end. So I didn't cut in while it was already open and I didn't stop the video before it was closed. Here you can see one magnetic flux line broken up into the left of the sun and just to be clear about what it is I'm talking about, right there. You can also seem to see six sides to the sun. There seems to be six sides to it. One, two, three, four, five, six. These wavy bands of plasma, I'm going to show you a screenshot from the music video Sail by AWOL Nation where I think they're representing these bands of plasma. Here you can see my car mirror. There's a couple of them where you can see my phone propped up on the edge of the door. In this one, it's hard to see, <clears throat> but there appears to be a circle right here with a triangle inside of it. There's other images where you can see it more clearly, and if it weren't for everything else in this video that appeared, I would dismiss it. The fact that this video got my channel wiped out 
gives it validation and credibility that it's not just lens flares. It triggered a type of protocol like national security. And this was in March of 2019 before censorship had started, so it didn't occur to me that I better not erase it from my phone because YouTube might erase it from my channel. I figured I've got a copy of it uploaded to my channel. I can delete it from my archive, from my gallery to make room for more videos. In this shot, you can see all the wavy bands of color around the edge of the sun. And you can see that, that what I think is plasma pouring through when they break the magnetic field open like that is bathing this bus over here in the bottom right corner in the plasma. There's a closer cropped in version of the plasma bands. Again you can see the edges where it has these jagged edges around the edge of the sun and each of those bands like a hall of mirrors shows a different color. That's not what the sun normally looks like. That one you can see the magnetic flux line broken up and to the left at the 10 o'clock position to the sun. Portal is open, man. This was just a random picture that was in with the same group. But some of these will serve as an example of what the sun looks like when the portal's not open. Here you can see lots of color. And you can see the Death Star nestled in the clouds over there. But none of the orbs, none of the wavy bands around the edges. That's the same one. On this one, you can see both orbs above and below the cloud line, but the one below the cloud line is less visible. Along with the Death Star nestled in the clouds over there. The rings around the sun. These are the concentric rings that were all moving inward from the outer edge toward the inner edge. But in this one, you don't see the wavy bands, just rings of color. Here you can also see my hand with uh, the phone propped up on the edge of the door. And I almost erased this video without even looking at it because I pulled over while traffic was going slow bumper to bumper in the morning. That's probably the same one. And thought I'd take a video of the clouds, try to see if there's anything worthy, like I just had the inspiration to video the clouds. Traffic started moving again, and I said, out of heck with it. In this one, you can see one of these orbs right there where the color bands terminate at about the uh, 9 o'clock position, maybe 10 o'clock position. Right here is a line where the color bands that go around the edge stop right there. And there's one of those orbs right there at the termination line. So you can see that the color bands go all the way around the edge and then stop right there. And the fact that there's this orb right there at the edge where the color bands stop shows some sort of interaction between the orb and the color bands around the sun.
This is what the sun looks like on that particular day when the portal is not open. This is one of the screenshots from that 19 seconds that was not within the 6 second window where it developed those rings that were all moving inward. You can still see the Death Star over there nestled in the clouds. Is this what we're on, the third one? No, I think we're on the fourth one. Here again is those two flux lines broken up into the left of the sun. It has the rings around it, but not the wavy bands of plasma. And again, there's one of those orbs that's faintly visible. Right there between the crosshairs. Here there's only one of the magnetic flux lines broken up into the left of the sun and it appears to have the six sides to it. That one we just did. Here's just a good shot of the orb above and below the cloud line color bands around the sun but they don't have the wavy pattern to them. Ironically, I'm pulling these from email that I sent to Logic Before Authority and his most recent videos are just a rehash of content he's already produced showing that angels, even Jesus and Mary, they're all depicted in an orb, a sphere around them. He shows screenshots from The Wizard of Oz where Glenda the Good Witch appears in an orb to Terminator where they appear in a sphere. But he didn't find, uh, find this worthy content to share with his audience, I suppose. That's just a screenshot of my gallery with all the different images in it. And as I was going to empty my gallery, because that video I took, the 19 second video, was a dud as far as I was concerned, I saw one of these images with the bands around the sun from the still frames that it fired off while I was taking the video because I had the phone leaned on the edge of the door, it hit the volume button and took a few still frames. So I saw those rings around the sun and said, what is that? And ended up looking at that 19 second video. So in this one, you can see a circle with a triangle. Circle, triangle. Like that might be one of those orbs that appears as it's going, as they're further up near the cloud line. And it seems easier to see when you zoom out. When you zoom in, it's not as clear. And again, if I didn't see everything else that I've seen in that video, I would dismiss this. But the fact that there's so much else going on in that video, the orbs, the waves, the bands of plasma, the portal opening, tells me that this is probably a craft. Here's just another shot where you can see it. Gives you a size reference to the car that's in the frame at the lower left. That's a little tighter in, cropped in image with the same triangle within a circle. Are we on to five or six? I'm not sure what the feature was there, but there's a lot of color, but without the ripples. 
I think those are just steel frames that it fired off simultaneously. But you can see the Death Star nestled in the clouds up here. Here you can see the car with the circle with the triangle in it up there in the upper right corner. There again, circle with the triangle in it in reference to the car. And the same people that keep plasma fire a secret from the public, keep the sun tunnel a secret from the public. Can you spot the circle with the triangle in it up and to the right of the car passing by? It's almost easier to see the further out you zoom. Here, it's a little difficult to see, but one of those orbs right there between the crosshairs, and you don't see the other one below. There it is, center screen. The light bands around the sun, but without the wavy ripple pattern coming out from them. Light bands around the sun without the wavy ripple pattern. Two of the orbs, one above and one below the cloud line right there. These are some sort of ship or beings transiting through the Stargate. That's just another little closer cropped in. The same image, I believe. Same image. But in those bands around the sun, you can kind of see the six sides. Seems to be a line here, a line there. You can trace the rest of them out yourself. But they seem to come to an angle like there's six sides to the portal. It's not perfectly round bands of light around the sun. Two orbs transiting through the portal. This is what I mean when I refer to the sun tunnel. This one you can faintly see. I think this is the one where the color bands terminate right at the orb that's transiting through. It's just a cropped in version of that image. Same image. Same image. And you can see the Death Star over here nestled in the clouds in just about every one of these. Same image. This is the screen, this is the thumbnail cover photo for the song Sail by AWOL Nation. 
and I believe these color bands over here are a representation of what we just looked at. You can see they're kind of emanating in from the window, which represents the sun behind him beaming through that window. I believe they're depicting the sun tunnel. Just in case that was sideways and you didn't get the picture, or you've got to cock your head sideways, these bands of light behind him emanating through the window from the sun. I believe that's a depiction and a representation of what we're looking at, the sun tunnel. This is a look at some of the email that happened on March 15th. Google tells me your account is disabled. It looks like it was being used in a way that violated Google's policies. We understand that it's important to you, so if you think this was a mistake, sign in and try to appeal. That was the 15th, March 15th. Can my YouTube account be unlocked? It's been over three weeks. Oh, that's a different one. That's from recent. That's from 12 26 22. This one's also from March 15th. Same day. Google account was disabled. That's from Google, not YouTube. Same day. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on. The ones from March 15th. Hello, we have received your account appeal and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. YouTube team, that was on 315. Hello, we have reviewed your account and have concluded that it's not in violation of our terms of service. Therefore, we have unsuspended your account. This means your account is once again active and operational and in good standing. I told him that there was, in one of these, I told him there was 300 videos missing. I tried to get back to him in 2021, August of 2021. See if maybe they'd reinstate it, but the truth is, not a chance. Scrolling down to the very bottom of my page, the very first one uploaded, titled TR3B, is one that I took at Staples, filming the triangle within the circle, and tried to upload it, and realized I was blocked. By the time they gave me back my channel, that was the only video on there. The one that's titled TR3B, everything prior to that for the prior eight months that I had been uploading videos was erased and all of my subscribers were gone. Zero subscribers, one video remaining. So, on that day... Jeff Snyder, it's Friday, March 15th. My YouTube page was taken down yesterday and I'm relaunching it now. All the wood you're looking at was burnt by solar plasma. March 15th, my YouTube page was taken down. I'm relaunching it now. I had made plenty of videos of plasma fire. It was that sun tunnel video that got my channel wiped out. So I proceed to show you printed out paper copies of these sun tunnel images. Showed these rings going inward to the sun. Along with these lines, which are clearly the lines of the magnetic field being cracked. Even if I hadn't erased that from my gallery, there is no chance they would have allowed me to upload this to any of the platforms. They would erase it from the internet no matter how far they got to chase it down. And knowing me, I would have been insistent and they would have found a way to get rid of the guy who keeps uploading the sun tunnel. That would throw every government and every religion into a tailspin if that went viral and people discovered it. 
So it's probably a good thing that I erased it. There's no chance any platform would have allowed it. Ironically, you see below my feed here all the music I listen to. What's the top one? Children of the Sun by Billy Thorpe. And we are the people that rule the world. Horse running through every boy and girl by Empire of the Sun. So seeing what I've seen and knowing what I know about the sun being a portal through which craft and or beings transit, it explains it is can also be called the Stargate instead of Sun Tunnel. And it explains why there are so many religions throughout history that worship and venerate the sun. And Christians say, oh, those are just dumb pagans. Even Christianity is cloaked paganism or sun worship. All of those sun gods have the same story as Jesus, born December 25th to a virgin mother, 12 disciples, died, resurrected three days later, died on the cross. Buddha, born December 25th to a virgin mother. Maya, I'm sorry, uh, Krishna, born December 25th to a virgin mother. So even Christianity is just another sun god. The only way to the Father is through the sun. Get it? I'll include a link in the description from this video that I made about eight months ago titled Children of the Sun. And when I click the link in the description of that video that I included that goes to this song after the gold rush, it appears it's been blocked. But you can see they were taking Mother Nature's silver seed to a new home in the sun. Well, I dreamed I saw the knights in shining armor coming, saying something about a queen. There were peasants singing and drummers drumming. The archer split the tree. There was a fanfare blowing to the sun and floating on the breeze. Look at Mother Nature on the run in the 20th century. I was lying in a burned out basement with the full moon in my eyes. I was hoping for a replacement when the sun burst through the sky. There was a band playing in my head and I felt like getting high. Thinking about what a friend had said and I was hoping it was a lie. Notice the imagery here. Houses burned to the ground trees still standing. You'll recognize that pattern if you've been watching this channel for a while. That's plasma fire. Well, I dreamed I saw the silver spaceships flying in the yellow haze of the sun. There were children crying and colors flying all around the chosen ones. All in a dream, all in a dream, the loading had begun. They were taking Mother Nature's silver seed to a new home in the sun. We were flying Mother Nature's silver seed to a new home in the sun.